Uh, I, I am the feature presenter here today. So as we get into, I just want to caveat and see if you should be paying attention or not to this. Do we have any time travelers on the group or in the audience right now? Well, Volunteers. <laughs> yes. If you're a time traveler, uh, this may not apply to you. But if you're not a time traveler, everything that we do is based on two uh, very simple principles. It's that in this timeline, math is universal and time is the most valuable commodity you'll ever have. And that's what we focus everything on. That's what we focus our plans on. That's what we focus everything we do. Our goal is simple. It is to help our clients to retain more of what they earn. So what we do is we apply those two simple universal principles against core frameworks. And we take these core frameworks and we just implement them. And we use math and it's just Easy, <laughs> can't describe it any other way, it just works. So what we do is we, we have a guarantee. Uh, when you start working with us, we take a benchmark. And then we say, if after that year, you have not incrementally improved and dramatically improved more than what we've cost you, our first, our recommendation for you is to save the money by paying us a dime. So our costs are in line with what you would pay a normal accountant to get your taxes done. But what we give you, we feel is a lot more um, and a lot more to it. So. When we go through, everything is based on, you know, the baseline that we kind of established with you. So we have a core fundamental baseline. Again, I just threw in some random numbers here. It, it works with the, regardless of the number of zeros at the end of these numbers. And we work with people with many zeros and we work with people who don't have enough zeros <laughs> and everyone in between. And because math is universal, it works. So what it all starts out is the fundamental core is your, you know, you have to have your liquidity, you have your physical assets, you have your leverage, which is your tax, uh, tax insurance and debt, you have your retirement savings, you have your growth. We take this base establishment when we first meet, we sit down and we say, okay, where are you with all this? It's amazing how many people have no clue. Um, so that's the first part is gathering and putting that all together. And then we go in and we, we establish and, and the elements required to do your tax return. So we do a tax return for you. We, we you know, we, that's our, <laughs> we are relaxed tax. So we're focused on, and you need to do a tax return. What a lot of people lose sight of is a tax return is really just a reconciliation with the government of your current financial states. So it's really establishing and allowing you to create your finance, your, um, you know, your financial statements as to where you are. You're telling the government, hey, here's where I am. And the reality is they already know, but legally they have to, you have to tell them and then they'll come back and say, we know that you're lying and they come back to it. So, so from that perspective, um, you need to uh, tell the government where you are. That's the purpose of the tax return. So when we take your tax return, we really, we, we take the elements and we summarize, okay, here's where you are today and here's your action items. This is why we have this guarantee and why we know it works because we're taking where you are and we're helping you to move through it. So we look at each area of the tax uh, of the tax return yeah. and each area that you have to do. So we're reviewing, you know, the actual tax returns. Too many people get really caught up on these forms, these these forms that they send out, all these aspects. Getting the return together. By the time the number is on the return, it's uh, on the form. It's too late. That's something the government already knows. We're focused on changing the numbers on the forms before they get to the forms, so that they're the most reflective of what you need to do to retain more of what you are and to be in a better financial position. So again, that starts with looking at your general expenses, looking at all the expenses across the board, ones that not just are they deductible or they're not deductible, but are they putting you in the position that you need to be in? Are you getting what you need and are you optimizing your finances um, in the way that's best for you and not the people who sell you products? A lot, many products are sold. You hear so much about selling financial products. There's a reason they're sold is because they're not really in your best interest. So we focus on what's your best interest and help you buy what you need, not to sell, but to help you buy what you need. That's what you want to focus on. So a key area here is insurance. Insurance is a place where there's the most, but what the purpose of insurance is, is to keep you level and whole and protect what you have. It'll never put you in a better position than where you are. It's really meant to keep you whole and to where you have it. It's not meant to improve your position, but it's to de-risk situations. A lot of times there's a lot of waste in insurance and people either may have too much insurance and may have overlapping insurance and they have the wrong type of insurance. So again, that's something we evaluate for you because that is a key lever point, that tax and debt. So the next thing we look at is debt. 
You know, how much debt do you have? What types of debt? Do you have the right debt? Are you in position to get debt when you need it? Uh, case in point, Randy was saying, oh, it's such a dream to work with a, work with a client of ours because it's like, boom, boom, boom. And they came to, they asked, hey, I need debt. And I said, well, this is the type of debt you want. This is how you got to get it. And here's where you go. And boom, <laughs> they were done and they're going to have it in two weeks. Um, and that's because we this wasn't an accident. She was ready. We were prepared. We had everything ready. We know exactly what type of debt, when we're going to get the debt and where we need the debt. The next step um, is focusing in on the assets. What do you have that are assets? Too many people um, confuse uh, what are really liabilities with assets. What the liability, what, um, what makes it uh, an asset, um, you know, uh, it, it, uh, it, the costs and the expenses associated with it. So a lot of times people will confuse physical things that are actually costing them money, that are depreciating, that are draining. The, the actual value of that in their asset and their portfolio can be minuscule and it can actually drain a lot of funds and a lot of liquidity. So we look at what are really assets and what are the assets you want? Do you want to control something or do you need to own it? Um, and those are key factors that really help you to be, you know, retain more of what you want, more of what you earn for what you need. And then we talk about investments. We don't do any of this stuff. We don't sell it. We don't, we don't have investments. We don't work with investments. We help you to pick the investment products that are right for you based on, based on what you need and what your, what your goals are. And we say, okay, here's some actions. Here's some potential. Here's some things. And then we say, hey, go talk to Mariella. Go talk to someone. Here's someone who's going to be able to help you to get these things that you need that are customized and, and positioned for you. And then finally, we come back right where we started. And we say, okay, so here is your current state. Here's where you are. And the most important, let's look at that leverage, those tax insurance and debts. What kind of grade are you, get, are you getting right now for where you are with what you are? And then if you make these adjustments, if you make these tweaks, if you make these changes that we suggested, here's where you should be. And then here's what we can project ballpark where what will change. And again, year over year, if we miss those projections, I know a great way to save you a couple hundred bucks. Don't pay me. <laughs> Do your taxes yourself on TurboTax. Move on. You know, I mean, I, I failed you. Um, but we rarely lose a client because we're able to help them and to grow and to get them to meet those projections. And that's it. That's how, you know, it's not really complicated. It's not rocket science. It's, it's, it's math and it's valuing your time. And that's what we do. Questions, issues, concerns? Um, do you do tax returns of any size? Uh, we typically, do, uh, and that's a loaded question. Size, <laughs> the, the number of zeros. We'll do as many zeros as you need on yeah. your tax return. I'm the, more, type that uh, we do, the type that we do are we focus on the Schedule C. So it's a small business owner. Um, you know, it could be small business, it could be uh, individual. If uh, we do not do the 1060, I have a great referral base for 1065 C corps and everything else. We specifically do the Schedule C because it is the most neglected area for uh, the serious accounting firms don't like to do it because, again, there's not enough money in it for them to do a Schedule C return. And again, our costs are right in line or less than what you'll pay for H&R Block. It's just the way that we do it, we've got it down to a science. So we will do, um, we specialize in the Schedule C return, uh, individual tax returns. Make sense? And we do, we do schedule C's for people who have another firm, large firms doing their person, doing their, their business returns. What happens is the business return firms that do specialize in the business returns spend absolutely no time, money, or effort in helping you on your individual side. So that's what we're really focused on that individual tax return, which we have businesses in multi-million dollar businesses, multi-million dollar income earners. Uh, they still have to do a personal tax return. Everyone has to do a personal tax return. Thank you.